Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this makeup look right here. Um, so if you want to see how to do it, then just keep watching. Okay, so here I'm just putting in my contacts. And I know it looks painful, but it's not. And now I'm just putting on my e.l.f. hydrating primer all over my face. And now I'm going in with this NYX eyeshadow base. And I'm going to be putting that all over my eyelids. Um, you can be kind of messy with this because it doesn't really matter. Um, you don't have to be precise with this at all. And now I'm setting it with a NYX white eyeshadow. Just that way. So like when I put the red pigment on, that way it's bright and I don't have to deal with like dullness and stuff. It just creates a nice um, canvas for us. So... And now I'm going in with this red color from my BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm putting that in the crease and I'm kind of being kind of messy with it. Um, again, it doesn't have to be precise because it is, it's, it's not a precise look. Um, so I kind of just blend it out um, above the crease and like kind of towards my eyebrow and stuff. Um, but I do like stay away from the lid a little bit just because we're going to be putting a different color there. So I just blend that out with a different brush and make sure it's all blended. And now I'm going in with this darker red color from this um, Lorac Unzip Palette and I'm putting that in the crease and just deepening up the color and adding more dimension. And I'm just blending that out. And now I'm going in with this darker brown color, and I'm going to be putting that in the crease and deepening it up a little bit more. And I'm just blending that out. And now I'm going in with this black from um, the Urban Decay uh, Naked Basics palette, and I'm just putting that in the crease just to give it more dimension, um, just because I didn't want it to look too like red, I kind of wanted more dimension in there. Um, and I'm just taking a fluffy brush and blending it all out. And I'm taking these three colors and I'm going to be putting that on my lid. Um, I don't know what happened to the clip, but I put it on just where like, my lid was. And now I'm going in with eyeliner just to set a base. Um, I didn't finish my eyeliner because I'm going to come back to my eyes afterwards. And now I'm going in with my foundation. I'm using Max um, Studio Sculpt Foundation, and I'm using my Manic Panic Dream Tone. And I just mixed them together and dotted that all over my face. And I'm going to be blending that out with a damp beauty blender, as always. And now I'm going with my concealer, I'm using Max Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm using my CoverGirl Concealer, the Ready Set Gorgeous one. Just mixing them too, because um, I highlight with this as well, um, and it just works really well. And I'm blending that out with a Beauty Blender again. And once I'm done blending that out, I'm setting it with this powder and I'm going to be letting it cook under my eyes, that way it, it prevents it from creasing under there. And now I'm going in with this Essence Matte um, like pressed powder and I'm just going to put that all over the rest of my face. And I'm just going back in and blending out that red color just so that way it's all smooth. Because when you put your foundation on it kind of gets a little blotchy. And now I'm going in with my NYX Eyebrow Gel in black. And I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and I'm only going to show you guys how I do one because it just takes forever. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys how I do the one and then... I'll fast forward through the next one. And now I'm just wiping away the rest of that powder that I let cook under my eyes. And now I'm going in with this NYX Taupe Blush, um, just a contour. 
and I like a pretty heavy contour um, just so that it lasts all day especially if you're going for full coverage and stuff like that and now I'm going with this NYX blush it's just like a light pink color and I'm just dusting that on my cheeks and I'm kind of just like sharpening up my contour with this like um, just pressed powder and now I'm going with Mary Luminizer by the bomb and highlighting my cheekbones um, my like the tip of my nose above my eyebrows um, and my cupid's bow and my forehead and I'm just blending that all out with a big stippling brush and now I'm setting my face with setting spray and I'm gonna go in and contour my nose just a little bit um, just because I felt like it needed something I don't know it was kind of last minute I just decided to contour it a little bit and just blending that out and now I'm going back in with my eyeliner, um, finishing that up. I'm just going to be doing like a very big dramatic wing um, because this look is very dramatic. And I'm just going over it with my matte eyeliner by NYX. Um, and then I'm going to be taking my gel eyeliner and doing my inner corners. Um, you guys have seen me do this a couple of times. Um, it's really hard to film. Um, because my mirror gets in the way so um, I'll probably do a more in-depth video on how I do that and now I'm going in with this LA girl glide um, eyeliner in white and I'm putting that in my um, waterline and it's painful and so I'm just doing that and I love this eyeliner it's very pigmented and it doesn't take forever to put on there so and now I'm just gonna be setting that with the white eyeshadow that I used before on my eyes um, I've noticed that if I set it with um, white eyeshadow, it stays longer. And now I'm taking those same eyeshadows I used on my eyelids um, and just blending that down underneath my um, what, like my waterline. And I'm just smoking it out and making sure that I blend everything. And now I'm going in with mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I'm just going to be doing my top and bottom lashes and prepping them for falsies. So now I'm putting on my false lashes. These are my Red Cherry 199s. And I love these eyelashes. They're very big and dramatic. I decided not to put on bottom lashes just because my contacts are kind of bothering me today. Um, so those are the ones that I put on. But yeah, now I'm taking this NYX um, Roll-On Shimmer. And I think it's, I'm not sure what it's in. Um, but I just put that underneath my inner corner eyeliner and a little bit on my brow bone just to give it more sparkle. And I'm taking these two lipsticks. I'm taking this gray macaroon lipstick from um, NYX and I'm topping that off with Max Velvet Teddy. And it kind of gives off this um, line kind cashmere look. And this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!